in the heart of London at the iconic Bath el Fadul Mosque, a congregation of minds gathered for an event aimed at shaping a brighter future for humanity. The Pan-African Ahmadiyya Muslim Association, or PAMA, UK Peace Conference. Held under the banner of economic equity and eradicating poverty, the event unfolded with a commitment to fostering global harmony and shared prosperity. Distinguished guests, scholars and advocates converged to address the conference. The President of Palmer UK delivered the opening remarks. I stand before you humbled by the enormous honour of addressing this august assembly, grateful for your presence here today, mindful of the enormity of the task before us. We gather here to discuss a fundamental truth that resonates across borders, ideologies, and cultures, the imperative of economic equity and eradicating poverty as keys to achieving lasting peace. Economic justice is a beautiful slogan, familiar in its rhyme, dazzling in its simplicity. Yet, economic justice has eluded mankind for millennia. Hazrat Mirza Masoor Abad, may Allah be his helper, the worldwide head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, sent a special message for the event, which was delivered by the President of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community in the UK, Mr. Rafiq Hayat. As we navigate these challenging times, turning to prayer and spiritual introspection offers great solace and guidance. By focusing on these pillars and guiding others towards them, we can hope to steer the world towards a path of peace and understanding, rather than letting it slip into chaos and destruction. May Allah Ta'ala enable you all to do so and guide you in your affairs. Amen. The highlight of the event was the address of the keynote speaker, Imam Azhar Hanif. Well, let me begin also by talking about tonight's special subject, inequity and poverty. The World Bank defines absolute poverty as, quote, a condition of life so characterized by malnutrition, illiteracy, disease, squalid surroundings, high infant mortality, and low life expectancy as to be beneath any reasonable definition of human decency. No man, woman, or child should live in such a condition. But what does that mean in real life terms? Around 719 million human beings around our world are trying to survive this very day on less than $2.15. In this sense, it is very relevant that we're doing this conference with the Pan-African Association because of the 719 million human beings who suffer this way, 389 million, 60% live in sub-Sahara Africa. They do not have enough income to meet even their very basic needs and more than half of these are children. So again, if we step back for a moment and put that in perspective, there are enough people in the world that, that are in the condition I described as absolute poverty that everyone in Europe can leave this continent and you can fill the entire continent with such people living in such dire, desperate conditions, deprived, not only of essential needs, but also of opportunity, hope, and basic human dignity. The Holy Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, once said, take care of the poor. Take care of the poor, because you gain wealth because of them. Why is it that we forget that we're not sitting on mounds of gold and silver and oil, we are sitting on the labor of all those who help us to acquire these precious commodities. 
In the words of our supreme worldwide leader, His Holiness Mirza Masrur Ahmed, who during a peace conference in this very hall has said this, we Ahmadis believe that the Messiah and Mahdi who was to come has indeed arrived in the person of the founder of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, whose name was Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad of Qadiyan. He said that his primary task was to bring mankind closer to God Almighty and draw the attention of mankind towards fulfilling the rights of each other. He said there are two perfect parts of faith, just two. One, love mankind to such an extent that one considers its difficulties one's own difficulties and to pray for all humanity. The other, again, which is central and cardinal to all religions, to love God with all one's heart and soul. The event concluded with a collective prayer for peace led by Mr. Rafi Kayat. After the event, MTA News spoke to attendees to get their feedback on the event. It's so important to um, really understand how we as a people and as people power coming together to address a lot of the issues that we see happening in our, in our communities. Um, and it seems like a lot of the inequalities and injustices that leads to inequities and poverty and all forms of systemic failures are not being addressed. So, you know, it, as uh, my parents used to say, who feels it knows it. We feel it, we know it, we've got to do something about it. The keynote speech for me was the key today because it contained elements of the kinds of values that makes me so happy to be an honorary member of this family. And I thought that it touched on the key elements um, that humanity needs to hear at the moment in the times that we live in with everything that's happening, especially in the Middle East at the moment. I, I love being here. It's about you know the energy. We've got people here from different parts of the world, different religious um, aspects as well. And you've really got everybody here with one purpose, just to build on peace. You know, spreading the message of peace, taking ownership of being peaceful. And I treat everybody here as like brothers and sisters, regardless of your culture, your religious beliefs or whatever.